Hey guys, the guy Rossaru, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, we defeated a demon wall, and we got uh, we got a dark crystal. And my, I am actually really tired. Yeah, I'm really tired as of this recording right now, and there goes a bit of lag. But anyways, we gotta go make our way back to. Make our way out of the sealed cavern. Alright. Let us make our way out of the sealed cavern. Uh. Okay. I thought that was a trapdoor, but apparently I defeated all the trapdoors. So, uh. Yeah. Let's just make our way out of here. And whatnot. Oh, and, uh. And uh, you do want to unequip everything you have for Kane because he is going to leave your party again. Alright. Yeah, like I said, uh, you can if you want, but I did it anyways. So I can sell some of his stuff because once you get him back, he'll, he'll have better stuff. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see, where am I? Am I going the right way? I can't even tell. Alright, been there. Alright. Video took a beating there from those bats and it missed Vamp, so let's heal her up. And let's try to find our way out of here. It'll probably take forever because I can't even I can't even remember how to get out of here. Oh, Sorry about that yawn, but that's how you get out of here. And as soon as we walk out. Yeah, see? Under, uh, Kane's under Gobez's control again. And now we must make haste. And I think we have to go back to, uh, uh was it the castle here? Sorry guys, I'm like really tired as of this recording. Stood up all night. Huh, that's true, unless the legend of the lunar well is true. Dig your way out. So we'll be finding a way out after all. Sid is going to build a drill onto the front post of the airship so we can uh, get out. <laughs> and yeah, this cutscene is taking forever. I really want to skip this, but uh, then again, I don't want to skip it at the same time. Okay, just hurry up with this scene already. Look at Edge being all, being the ladies man over there. Stupid man whore. I'm just kidding. Now someone actually suggested that I would use like one of my one of my real life friends actually suggested I would use Yang for the final battle. 
for the for the yeah the final battle but I think I'm going to save that for the end game plus that I possibly probably will do and he's just asleep Sid you're just old Okay, now we can go back to our airship and dig our way out of here. Where am I going? Don't know if you guys can actually hear me. Like I said, I didn't get some sleep, so I'm kind of like talking very slowly and like usually like like the few times I've said it before, if I talk, sometimes when I talk and I yawn, it's just that I talk, I'm talking too fast, or I'm just talking too much. Oh my god, I have to go to the YMCA today because apparently they're hiring. They need a male janitor. Am I really going to work as a janitor? Uh, I don't know why. But, I don't know, I might as well do it. So I can get that money and hope I can get some better stuff for my Let's Plays. Hopefully I can get a better laptop as well. That was funny how, that, how the Elder just phased through that black mage. And we don't need to see this again because it's the same thing. Uh, one of the dragon. One board of a dragon bearing darkness and light shall rise to the heavens over the still land. The moon's light eternal brings a promise to earth with bounty and grace. Yep. <laughs> And they're praying to the sky so we can get the lunar moon. And I can safely say we are pretty much almost done with the game because once we get this lunar well, that's pretty much it. We're almost done because we have to go to the, the moon and stuff. Am I going to see the lunar well? There it goes. The lunar well in the PSP version looks really nice, actually. How's it going? Wait till it lands so I can actually board it and ride it. Uh, the Lunar Well can take you anywhere, dude. Alright, let's go inside this Lunar Well. In order to operate, getting into the Lunar Well, just press the A button once you're on top of it. And you get a free inn. You get a free place to sleep. Of course, you do have to walk all the way back to your ship. But, it's well worth it. Oh, there goes a fat chocobo. We will need him. Okay, there I go. Flying it. Now I have to land it. Because once we touch this crystal, it'll take us to the moon. Awesome. Crap, I wanna I wanna park 
close to where I can actually go to the thing. That's not where I'm going. It is somewhere. Where are you at? It is right here. This is where I have to go to. That's if I can freaking get there. I forgot where to park. Where to park this thing. I usually park this really close to the thing just so I can uh, get to it. That's the problem. Where can I go to park this shit? Okay, I think I figured it out. I park here. I park here. Then, okay, I got it. Oh, let's see. Uh, I s okay. This is actually one of my favorite tracks in the game. Oh, we get a monster in a box. Yay! Hey, we get some new enemies. We get the prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Uh, eukaryotes, yeah. They hit pretty hard, so do be careful with them. Oh, and I'm poisoned. Let's just cure that up, because... Yeah, like I said, you do want to be careful, they hit really hard. Do some Ifrit on them. And it's not too bad. Not too bad. Ifrit's probably going to kill one of them. I know that. Yup. Because I inflicted enough damage to do so. it would hit hard now I mean at least it would hit hard now yeah the eukaryotes uh, yeah the eukaryotes are actually stronger than the, uh, the prokaryotes sorry the prokaryotes are stronger than the eukaryotes oh now hopefully we get something fancy oh we get a golden apple awesome we'll be keeping that golden apple golden apples uh increase your HP by I want to say a hundred if I'm not mistaken yep increase your HP by a hundred there's also another apple called the silver apple and it increases your HP by 50 so yeah you I would say save those so you can give them to people who actually need it who actually need an, a boost in their HP like Rydia because she's still in the triple digits while Rosa yeah while Rosa is actually in her quadruple digits Alright, here we get a black flan. I believe these guys are weak to fire, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get that fire going on. I'm not too entirely sure if the if the black flans are actually weak to fire. Oh, at least fire can inflict some damage on them, so that's that's a sign. That's a good thing, I guess. Of course, the damage is so high. I don't know why. Oh, come on now. Don't do that. I want Cecil to be alive so he can get this awesome experience. Summon Ifrit again and come on, quit attacking Cecil. You're 
now I kill Rosa. Okay, good. What? Wow, I hate when a game does that sometimes. I have someone get their turn first. Then they don't do their turn until after someone else has had their turn. That's what bothers me in RPG sometimes. Still some pretty decent experience. Alright, let us uh, heal up there because uh, I want Cecil to stay alive. Right, that's good enough. Alright, now let's keep going. We need some more treasure. We got current and stardust. Okay, here we get a new enemy and abyss worm. An abyss worm. My god, why do the prokaryotes hit really hard? They hit harder than the eukaryotes. Now there will be other enemies uh, in this area, so I don't think that I've actually met up with all the enemies. Oh god, that hurts. Oh, cannot do that. Quit. Please. I forgot to sell some of Kane's stuff. I just realized that. Ramu. Quit attacking her. I just revived her. God, Rydia is gonna die now. Please let Rydia get her turn, I mean, Rosa get her turn so she can heal. Awesome. Bolt the Judgment. Judgment Bolt. Vampire skin is getting on my nerves. Every time it's just gonna counter with vampire every time. See? So that's all it'll ever do, you fucking pansy. Let's cure that. Let's do another judgment bolt on them if I can. I'm pretty sure Cecil will kill it though. Still alive? Wow. I think I may be under leveled for this. Yup. They still aren't dead yet. Wow. Seriously, they're still alive. Please just die. Just die. Finally. Lunar curtain, blah blah. Alright, now let's heal that poison up. Much better. Alright, actually, I could have used a cottage because I'm outside. Let's do that. Alright. Now, I don't even think I show what cottages do. Cottages, uh, they're like the tents, but they are powerful than the tents because they they heal you for more and whatnot. All right, 
wait, no, really got, uh, not really a Rosa. Why do I keep mixing those two together? I guess I'm just used to really doing uh, white magic, actually. Yeah, I'm not fucking fighting those guys. Ah, oh, piece of shit. All right, now let's go into this area here. And here we arrived at a crystal palace. Um, go in here. You get uh, you get your HP restored and your MP restored. Did I use any mad? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. All right, now let's keep going into here. Uh, what happened to the crystal up here? Did someone already take it? Okay, flashing lights that can give me a seizure. Or flashing colored lights. Oh, hey, I know you. You're Fusoya. <laughs> I said that word. I used to call it Fusoya. Who is he? Zemus. Uh... Voice came from the soul of Cluya, your father. So apparently Fusoya is Cecil's grandfather. That's something I actually didn't even know. And Cecil and Gobez. Oh no, I do not want to spoil it for you just yet. You're gonna have to wait till till um till we uh till we get there. Alright now I gotta put uh I gotta put Edge in the front row there. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go meet you guys back at the Lunar Well, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I made it back and that didn't really take too long. I just don't wanna have to deal with any of those enemies. Uh, along the way. Let's just rest up really quick so we can go on to the just so we can get on with the game. Oh yeah, if you wanna if you ever wanna know how to get back to Earth, just go up to this crystal and it'll just take you back to Earth. Alright, now this is where we landed actually because of something that is about to happen. Oh, they're already attacking the Babel, Tower of Babel. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, that slow motion walking, so awesome. Hurry up with this cutscene so I can end the episode. Actually, actually, I just want to go inside the giant robot, then end the episode. If I get this thing in a hurry just to go to its, uh, just so I can actually control my characters. I do not want to fast forward it, actually. And apparently, people of, uh, Baron, Dem Cyan, and, uh, Oh, what? Since when did they get here? Dwarven Castle, and there goes Yang. We actually could have, uh, we could have met up with Yang earlier while we're at the Underworld, but that was more of an optional thing, and, uh, yeah. We could have gotten a new uh, summon for Rydia there, which is the Gilf, or the Glyph. Oh, there's that nasty uh, thing. And Sid, what are you still doing awake? You're supposed to be sleeping. Oh, there goes the twins again. Pound and pour them. Oh, yeah. And 
there goes the spoony bard. No one cares about him. The giant looks confused. How can a giant look confused? Thing right there, it's the uh, end game area. I was about to say, what happened? I thought the game froze. Alright, guys, well, I'm gonna have to end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll be taking out, we'll be exploring the giant of Babel, and you'll get a special surprise. Once we go through the area. Anyways, guys, it's uh, the Gary Ross who's signing out. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I shall catch you guys next time. Take care.